We should watch a Star Trek movie. Sure. I think I don't know. I don't know yet. A couple of the later, like, OG cast ones are pretty silly. That's what makes them so watchable. Yeah. Right? There's what? There's Undiscovered Country and Final Frontier are five and six in some order. And I think both are silly. Oh, TNG, the show is awesome. I'd love it. It's TV. the only it's the only good Star Trek. But have you seen? The Actually, first, there's some good Deep Space Nine. Have you have you seen the first season? It's been a, well, I mean, it's been a super long time. It's not good, right? So I watched I wanted to watch. Next oh, and their their uh, their uniforms are nuts. So oh, the uniforms are weird for sure. Yeah, not fully. But it's actually it's it's um. so I started watching TNG with my friend because I really wanted to get back into it. Yeah. And I hadn't seen all of it. Okay. And I started from the beginning before, and, and my, I started watching my friend like in the middle of season like two or three. Who's your favorite character, Lieutenant Tasha Yar? <laughs> uh, Don't get attached. <laughs> uh, the first season is insane, borderline unwatchable. Okay, would get you canceled. Yeah, like, like how like, did it get its like, nine seasons like, based on like the first, the first season, season was insane because they were trying to. Like they were trying to stay attached to the original, which, right. which was like from the fucking fifties or sixties, yeah, and had really terrible sensi- sensibilities. Yeah, so you end up with situations where it's like they're on a foreign planet, but it's Africa. Nice, and they're all wearing like African garb, Love and it. they're saying things like, "Ah, so in your country you clothe your women," <laughs> you know, and it's just like, "What am I watching?" I'm sorry, this is bad. How <laughs> it's 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 insane. I'm like, I I literally almost turned it off. <laughs> it's fucking insane. Yeah, I, I and it's that's been, a lot of that. Like, yeah. it's like for like a season and a half, <laughs> for like almost two full seasons. It's just a lot of that. Yeah, it's been forever, but I do remember. Yeah, early stuff is not good. And then like season three, and the four, uniforms are like weird pajamas. Yeah, there. One thing I love about that show is how cozy it is. It's a show. It about, is cozy. It's, it takes place in space, but yeah. everything's just cotton. You know, oh yeah, everyone's just, like it's it's your you're inside. It's a comfortable just, space show. It's super cozy. It just, yeah, you feel like it's, a, it's cozier than a sitcom. Yeah, right? I would I would love to just uh, hang out. I would like to sit around the Enterprise. I hate the mise en place in a lot of sitcoms like yeah, yeah. Big Bang Theory, Friends, Seinfeld, because there's so much clutter in the background that yes. it feels like yeah. anxiety inducing. It it's, feels like you're not It's home. over-decorated. But like on TNG, everything's just clean. It is and clean. cozy. I it's agree. Just, it's just very easy on the eyes. It's, it's nice. such a good show to just throw on. They did go to Bisexual Planet. I remember that. That's funny. Shit. Wesley <laughs> falls on a flower bed and the penalty is death. And that's the conflict for that episode. It's, sounds right. Oh, the reason our planet is so perfect is because whenever someone does even a minor, we fucking fashion, murder them. We kill them. And it's like okay, that's like more of a Twilight Zone episode. It kind of is. <laughs> that's like, again, they like they struggle to find yeah. like their identity early on. But and Wesley was being like, like they just they were really push. Like I don't know what was in his contract. <laughs> like I know that Will Wheaton's a big deal. But like, god damn, did he get not just a lot of screen time, like his character got gassed to the fuck up. Yeah. Like he was just like, he was it's, described by one of the, by some entity in space as the Mozart of technology. Really? Yeah. And he's got like, and they put him in like these tight ass fucking oh, yeah. suits and he's like, it's just weird. It's super weird. It's a weird. lot. Something in his contract, man. He had a good agent. I do remember when the crew went through evolution backwards. That's the best episode because it's sort of <laughs> tf Although the, the weird species are chosen. There's a, actually, speaking of Bev, there was a real weird Bev episode where mm. she just starts losing her mind and mm-hmm. people start like being like oh who like picard we don't have a picard here we've never I, yes and, and then, like she and then people start disappearing yes and she's on the ship and yeah i remember that loses, and it's just fucking insane yeah and so like this is a horror movie <laughs> yeah and they have a lot of episodes like that they're kind yeah. of just, just like the entire show is gaslighting yeah. her yeah it's some good tng episodes yeah that's going the devolution one is good troy becomes a frog <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I swear to God, Troy, like Sarkis, whatever her name is, yeah, uh, like she has something in her contract where you her, have, her uniform, you have to be able to see is, both her shoulders is markedly like, different. It's like, than it's everyone like, else is on the if ship. If you can't see the skin on both her shoulders, yeah. she is overdressed. <laughs> then, then you have to pay a fine. It's funny because, like, have you heard her? Have you heard her interview? Like, talk to like in her actual voice. Do you know what she sounds like? I hope it's super Greek. It's you would think, right? Because she's like, she's oh man, I'm so glad you have it because it threw me the fuck off. Yeah, I don't because like, she's doing like. I feel she, like she could be Britishy. She was told to do like a, like an Israeli Eastern European accent, okay. which I think she nailed. Yeah, like if that's the if that's the yeah, yeah. The she's, prompt, she's in like, the ballpark. Yeah, you know, well, I don't know what to you know. It's just like like that. <laughs> And then she starts talking and she sounds like Danny fucking Dyer. One of the stars of a hit TV show, you get treated a different way. And I just feel that I don't want to kind of lose touch with 
who I was before I got Star Trek. She's got a Cockney <laughs> ass, the most Cockney Oh, ass. love oh, it. I, I might, I don't. It's just like, it's fucking <laughs> I weird. like that. She's like, I'm like, wow, you've got some range, girl. Way to go, Marina. Maybe not like that Cockney, but she's like South London. But like, like poor yeah, London. Like, like, like trash East Enders, British. Like yeah. East Enders. Like right? Essex. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So funny. <laughs> Sorry, Essex watchers, but you you know. <laughs> and she has like a Greek name too. So I thought she was 100% like, Marina Sirtis. Like, yeah. It's like, you know, you're definitely Greek. It's like, nope. South London. You have Love a it. geek name. <gasps> I kind of do. <laughs> I should change it. You got me there. <laughs> Guilty.